Hey everyone, how's it going? Fireborn here. Um, so I'm going to be practicing today any percent, no major glitches, speedruns. Um, I'm practicing for the Hollow Knight 4th anniversary event, which is going to be hosted on Twitch um, tomorrow starting at 9am Central, 10am Eastern. So like two hours before now, tomorrow, there's going to be that event. There's going to be a lot of speedrunning races, a lot of uh, top speedrunners showcasing their categories, so I think it's going to be really cool. Uh, and actually, we're starting off with an any percent NMG race. There's going to be um, a lot of the top runners, not the world record holder, but there's going to be um, me, Axe to You, who's the second place runner, trying to get world record right now. There's going to be Hamothity, who's also a top runner. Holy shit, that's loud as hell. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Glonky. <laughs> that is so loud. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's going to be me, Axe to You, um, Hamothity, and Rhino Feeder, who's an up-and-coming up runner who's like... He actually almost got a 33, a mid-33 um, just yesterday and died on uh, THK, unfortunately. Really sad. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it should be a really good race. I might actually be the underdog because I haven't speedrun this category in, like, I, I speedran it at SGDQ last year, which was, I, I think, in August or maybe early September. I forget. Um, but even then, I was kind of out of practice for that. So I just did a run before we started, and I got a 36 which is a bit over three minutes um, past my PB. <laughs> I kind of died in the beast den. I, uh, I got hit by a guy and then it sent me into spikes and it instantly killed me. And also um, on the Hollow Knight, I killed him, but I got killed by him at the same time. So, um, you know, I, I think that one's pretty much a draw in my opinion. Um, but yeah, we're doing members only chat again this stream. Um, it, it's not to try and like steal money from people. It's just because like I want it to be easier and more comfortable for my mods because in the past it's been super crazy with chat. It's just like impossible to moderate and people just go nuts. Um, but yeah, uh, I think we can pretty much get started. Uh, I'm not getting world record today, so if your hopes are uh, that I'm going to get world record, probably not going to happen. <laughs> but um, yeah, be because Pest and Axe are just way ahead of me in this category now. They're so good. They're such good players. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> we can moderate 5k people. Easy peasy. <laughs> but I'm very glad to have you all here. Thanks a lot for hanging out. Uh, hopefully the audio is okay. Just let me know if it isn't. Um, it looks like it might be a bit quiet, but probably when we get to the boss fights, it'll get much louder. So anyway, we are going to get started. We're going to be doing no reset runs. And what that means is we're going to be trying not to reset the runs at all. So even if we make a big mistake and we have no chance of getting a PB, we're just going to continue because the main point is really just to practice and uh, get ready for the anniversary event tomorrow. Oh, thanks a lot, Ethan Ray, for becoming a member. Um, last thing is there is a link to that event in the description. So if you just uh, open up the description, there will be a link to the Twitch channel. And if you want to go there and follow just so you can get a notification of when that happens, that's something I recommend doing, because it's going to be pretty awesome. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs> I'm a tad quiet. Okay. Um, my mic is already boosted to as high as it can go, so I'll drop the desktop audio very can't slightly. Be for the stream, but I can still show a little support in Thanks a lot, Twink. <laughs> really appreciate it. You have been extremely generous, and good luck at work. 
All right, let's do this. This is just going to be practice, but I am still going to try to get good runs because that's the best way to learn is to just like make sure you're really focused. If you're kind of half-assing it, it's not going to be as useful practice as it could be. <clears throat> I think my PB is a 3307 in this category. So it's definitely not a 36. And this run was on, um, I want to say high 33 pace, like a 33 4x maybe, until I died in Beast Den. So the pace I'm playing against is okay. Just like if I can get a pace like that without dying, um, that would be pretty good for the, for the stream tomorrow. Oh, I hope you like it, Helen. Speedruns are pretty fun. They're a lot more chill. Um, because it is a bit more repetitive, but uh, I definitely think, like, consistency is the most impressive thing about Hollow Knight speedruns. Which I probably have absolutely none of right now, but we'll see. <laughs> Thanks, Bong8. Oops. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Yeah, if you're a bit slow going down into that mid-drop, you do get hit like that. Hopefully I can get double spike to kind of make up for some time. Oh, no. Okay, I kind of backed it up. At least 147. Mm, I don't know about that Aspid Arena time. That's okay though. I find I can usually get good Forgotten Crossroads times just after um, doing a few runs, so. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to de-rust the early game splits. I've done them so much that it's not too difficult usually, but it has been a very long time. I lost a split second reset time. <laughs> Oops, holy crap. Banning, Zalient, and Hunt Hustle. Understandable. Oh god, what? I kinda lagged when False Knight spawned, so I didn't get the turnaround right when I wanted it. Oops. Hunt Hustle. Hey, speedrunner, I have a tip. If you don't heal before the fight, you can save more time by not healing. Thank you. That's a really good tip. <laughs> 311. Ooh. That's a spicy time. So I'm going to be losing a little bit of time to my comparison. But I have a lot of time to save later on. <laughs> If you want the world record, redo what Fireborn did without that last heal. He fucked up there. <laughs> you know, I heard that meme a lot in the Hollow Knight Discord, but I never saw the comment that it was even referring to, or the, like the video. I, I assume it was my PB. Yeah, not dying is pretty good. Does inventory dropping there save time? Uh, I'm actually not completely sure. It's hard to time things like that because they're at the ends of like a really long room with a ton of um, with a ton of like RNG in the room itself. So 
you'd really have to like look at a video frame by frame to uh, determine whether it's faster. And I really just haven't done it out of laziness, if I'm going to be honest. All the Night Runners have historically been a little bit lazy about, um, especially me. Like, I'm not an exception to that. Hey, Fire GL on the runs, excited for tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Blue. Blue has been the one organizing the uh, anniversary events, FYI. Which is really cool. But yeah, timing, little things like that. Um, we're generally a bit lazy about that kind of thing because there's so much RNG in the run that, like, Figuring out whether something like that saves a single frame is not like a super big priority. Ooh, I'm glad I made that because in my comparison right now, I did not make that fireball skip. <laughs> so we got a sick fat gold. Oh, thanks a lot, Megan. <laughs> I'd say welcome to the God Gamer Academy, but you're already a mod. <laughs> Thank you very much. And thanks a lot, relax. Now. It's much appreciated. <laughs> I feel like I can't lose the muscle memory for fireball skips, it's just like impossible. I've done them too much. <laughs> I always tend to mess up um, those moss creeps, but I guess I'm okay right now. I feel kind of confident. I've been getting practice doing them whenever I do speedrunner versus hunters videos. That's, that's the real reason why I'm able to do that still. <laughs> The speedrunner versus hunters practice. This uh, green path is pretty good so far. I think I'm standing a bit too far away from the Moss Knight because on current patch, its hitbox is like bugged to be like super far to the left. But on this patch, the hitbox is normal and it throws me off. <laughs> Nice, I got that double hit. Okay, that's good. Zalian versus Fireborn, round two, when? When was round one? Mm. That was okay. I just kind of delayed that hit because when he falls off the ledge, he actually um, gets stunned for like a moment. Thanks a lot, Calamity. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. And I, I missed a donation. I will get to that. Oh, never mind. I didn't. Oh no, I missed that fireball. Oh my god. That fireball miss was very unfortunate. I can't believe Hunt Hustle did that too. I would never do cruel things in this game. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, super chat, uh, Henry. I would never do cruel things in Hollow Knight. Okay, 753, hmm. That was, that was a decent split other than the Hornet fight. The Hornet fight was just kind of tragic. <laughs>
I really like this split though because it's very consistent. There's a lot of movements in it. Nice. Hey, mini pretzels. Thanks a lot for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. <laughs> You know, I don't have much practice with this split because we don't usually enter fungal wastes from that side in the speedrunner versus hunters videos, so <laughs> I'm kind of surprised it's been clean so far. Nice. That is good. We'll just do the normal e-pogo here, not the super cool one, because I don't remember how I do it. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest. Nice. That's not bad. It's not a bad time at all. Hi Fire. Have you heard a bingo sink before? There is one for HK. It makes a bingo board. Of challenges and you can race another player to finish a certain number of them or two. Make like two lines. Could be a future stream idea. Uh hey Caleb. Um yeah, I have I actually did a lot of bingo when bingo was like just first um, released and I enjoy bingo a lot. Um, it's become like, I feel like the whole like bingo and randomizer scene has become like super complicated. Um, not in a bad way, but in a way like I'd have to learn so much. <laughs> Back when I played bingo, it was so simple. If you say you don't do cruel things in Hollow Knight, then why did you not talk to? Elder bug. <laughs> Talk to who? Oh god. <laughs> oh, maybe I deserve that one. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. I don't know. Um, yeah, doing something with bingo could be fun, especially with multiplayer mod. So I'll take that into account. Thanks a lot for the donations, guys. Or I have a bad habit of saying guys, I'm sorry. Thanks for the donations. <laughs> uh oh, I have to hit this guy thrice. Oh no I don't, why do I have so much soul? Oh, because I was hitting the fence fly. That's not, that's not a mistake that happens very often. <laughs> hence, hence my confusion. <laughs> See a calamity. Hope you have a nice day. Oh, good cleanup. Very nice. We actually have a Shade Fireball in this split that I'm comparing against, so we have a lot of time to save here. <laughs> oh, bad husk spawns, unfortunate. I do think like competitive bingo with multiplayer mod could be really fun because that was what I was into. Um, well, I mean, bingo is normally competitive, but I was thinking of lockout bingo because that was what we used to do and it was so much fun. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> that loses like three seconds when that happens. And it's uh, one in four chance and it's pretty much unavoidable. 
But yeah, lockout bingo is really fun. We did team lockout bingo a lot. That was where the It's 2000 clip came from. <laughs> For those of you who know what that is. From a lockout bingo game. I don't think Mag played any lockout bingo after that one <laughs> anymore. It was fun though. Hey Fire, keep up the great content, man. Thanks a lot, Michael. I will do my best. I start mashing here so early. <laughs> What a throwback, yeah. <laughs> this is more educational. We are a part of the God Gamer Academy, after all. Thanks, Kahoot. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Ground beef. <laughs> Thanks, Bear. Oh god, I missed the trick. Oops. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> oh, we're not even saving time on the split. How tragic. Oh, we are. Point one, baby. Let's go. Good button mash ASMR. <laughs> Thanks, Nero. Glad you enjoy the button mashing. I'm a fan of GameCube controller sounds as well. Also, do you spam your buttons for nail hits, spells, and dashes, or time them? Have a good um, day. Thanks, Caleb. Thank you very much. Um, I time everything because in this game there's a decent amount of buffering, which means that if you do your inputs a little bit too, a little bit too early, the game will accept them anyway and do the action as soon as your character is able to do that action. So if you time things, you can generally do them like as soon as it's possible for you to do them again, just because they buffer. So generally, that's what I would recommend trying to do. Oh no. He kind of he kind of ran away. I was trying to get a hit on him, um, just so I. Oh no! I actually had a really good first dash there, but then I pogoed and bonked the ceiling, and it sent me downwards. I wasn't really expecting it. Keep up the great content, my dude. Thanks a lot, slime vessel. It's really appreciated. Oh. <laughs> no one saw that. I'm just gonna edit that one out. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, I lost the big Geo. It went over my head. <laughs> the difference between a lobster with breast implants and a dirty bus stop? One's a busty crustacean, the other's a crusty bus station. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Kahoot. <clears throat> uh, so, not expecting to save time anymore on this split. Oh, sorry, it looks like you got bopped by Nightbot, Gwonky. <laughs> it's pretty strict. But I should probably ease up on Nightbot because we've gone members only. 
I trust members a little bit more. I would more. love to stick around, but calculus calls to me. I don't want to go crying. Have a great stream, fire. Oh no. Uh, good luck with calculus, work. Spark. Oh no. I'm having trouble focusing. <laughs> but I really appreciate the support, everyone. Thanks a lot, Spark, for the donation and Kahoot. And, and Zaf, thank you very much. Plus 15. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna heal here just to be super safe. Oh, that didn't even double hit. Oh, I missed. TFW fire is almost a week at 16 minutes, and my fastest time puts me there at like 33 GT. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Twink. Got a good pattern right at the end. <laughs> nice. We saved a bit of time because of the uh, third pair being super nice. Oh god. That was a random nail slash. Is it faster to pogo than dash over when they swing or just dash over? Uh, it kind of depends on when you dash. Like, it doesn't cost you any time if if you're not waiting to do the nail swing. Like, if it's just a part of your, like, natural uh, nail swing rotation. What was your first playthrough like? Did any bosses give you a particularly hard time? Hey, Funk. Um... <laughs> I don't think many bosses gave me a hard time. Um, no, thanks, thanks a lot, Steven. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Uh, the boss that gave me the f most difficulty f on the first try was NKG. It took me like two and a half hours to finish NKG. Uh, I'd already been speedrunning for a while at that point, though. Really appreciate all the support. In my casual playthrough, though, oh god, what? <laughs> I'm like fat fingering all the buttons. In my casual playthrough, I kind of found out about Quick Slash and Unbreakable, or not Unbreakable, Fragile Strength, and I just kind of used those, and it made the game really easy. <laughs> I think I used like Mark of Pride, Quick Slash, um, Fragile Strength. And because the build is so overpowered, if you just try to stay at full health, even though you have fragile strength, like, you're not really going to die that much. I managed to do Radiance first try, which was really nice. <laughs> oh no, we have to get this. I'm not I'm not used to doing that. I want to learn to like well, it's less about learning and it's more about just like having it on autopilot. Cuz I know how to do it. But I made a video about that walkling storage. <laughs> Fire bragging. What is new? <laughs> 
down the octave. I like to settle brag. Well, maybe it's not subtle, actually. <laughs> How does that work? The game thinks there's a wall on your left, so after every dash, you just keep holding left. And, um... <laughs> I thought I had more soul. You just keep holding left, and the game just, like, thinks you're on a wall after every single dash. So you can just dash again, even though you're, like, obviously not on a wall. Not even close. Um, I'm actually a little bit low on Geo. We're gonna have to get Mantis Petra Geo. <laughs> I think that's like the new thing to do. I was planning on pursuing a master's in engineering, but who needs a degree when you're part of the God Gamer <laughs> Academy? Uh, <laughs> Maybe you should keep going after that degree, <laughs> but thank you. Thank you very much, Axel. Either way, I respect getting a degree in God Gaming. But you, you should do that in your off time, in my opinion. <laughs> Walkling storage is a lot of fun. Have we voted um, for the elevator walkling storage? We did do a vote. Um, I forget what the result was. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not doing a major glitch. I think it was like if, if it doesn't make an adjustment to how you go through the room, then walkling storage is okay. I think that was like kind of like the rule that we made up. Because there's also a walkling storage you can do in Crystal Peaks. Which is kind of similar. Oh god. Um, and you can just skip the entire beams section by going underneath. Oops. So that that's obviously pretty major. You just like continually dash and uh, get straight to Crystal Heart without going through the beams section. Or laser section, if you want to call it that. Hog axe. Let's go. So Crystal Peaks has a lot of uh, movement. If you mess up the cycles, it can be pretty nasty. Oh god. Oh god. It was a little bit too late to go for the uh, god cycle there. <laughs> and I forget what to do here. How do you do that? I forget. <laughs> I actually forget the movement. I know there's new movement to do there where you do like a dash cancel. But um, I forget exactly what I used to do. Have I seen the new FC map? Um... You're talking about the one with, like, the crystal platforms, right? Because, yeah, I've seen that one. So we have to damage tank in this room. It's pretty safe to do. I think. We'll Here's see how safe it is. No U -U 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 what? Oh god. Okay. I got a little bit scared there because I forgot forgot what what it was supposed to look like. <laughs> Here's to getting every pog axe and no U U M U U fourth attack. Thank you, Whiskey. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get any Umu extra attacks. So for those of you who don't watch these speedruns that much, Umu is a boss. Um I, f I forget, there's like a Metroid, Super Metroid boss that's really similar. Um, Umu can just give you extra attacks, which take extra time, obviously. Um, but it also messes with Umu's positioning and makes it much harder to get the two cycle, because Umu is only vul vulnerable for small amounts of time. 
and then Umu goes into like an invulnerable phase. So if that happens, you lose like 20 seconds. And if, if Umu does extra attacks, it just makes it that much harder to kill Umu before it goes um, invulnerable again. Which loses tons of time. It's not fun. <laughs> But I actually got a two cycle in these splits. It was just barely. So my live split is about to look very nasty if I get a three cycle. I'll be like plus 40. Umu is a boss. Yep. Umu is a boss. That's really disgusting. <laughs> There are some things that I like about Umu, but generally, it's my least favorite boss. Umu can also do fast attacks like that one and slow attacks. Well, that's another fast attack. And it's just random. This is a slow attack. It takes a lot more time. Umu can only do two of the same attack in a row, so that was optimal RNG. Good. And this is a slow attack, so that's suboptimal RNG, but... Oh, and Umu's doing an extra attack. That's bad. Good RNG. There we go, that's a two cycle. Thanks a lot, Nakari. <laughs> we got pretty good RNG. Not not perfect, but not too bad either. That was a good split. I'm happy with that. And actually, Umu is the number one spot in the entire run where races are won or lost. I, I lost my GDQ race, like, as soon as I got to Umu, I missed the two cycle, and it was pretty much over. Um, and that's the story of just, like, a lot of any percent NMG races. So if, I'm pretty confident with Umu right now. We'll see how I do through the rest of the stream, but... Um, if I'm feeling confident about Umu, then I think I have pretty good ch chances in the race. To not get last place, because that's what we're really aiming for. We're just aiming not to get last place. <laughs> we're not we're not actually aiming for first place. That's that's out of sight. I don't know if that's possible. So QGA is another really important spot. It's the really, really tough acid skip. It's entirely possible to just lose the run at QGA because you can just fail it repeatedly and die. <laughs> and dying is a big time loss. So let's hopefully get it. Oops, messed up the movement just a little bit. Just a lot. <laughs> oh crap, C dash way too early. Nice, good. That's not too bad. I'm just gonna heal up just for safety. Cause I would do that in a race, usually. If you're going for world record, you do not heal there, ever. <laughs> Unless you're like 15 seconds ahead or something. I don't even know if that's possible anymore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
Uh, I kind of backed that up pretty well. You're supposed to hit them both twice. But I missed the first one with the first fireball. That can normally lose a ton of time. Good backup, though. Oh god, that, that guy was in a bad spot. It's a good thing I delayed my dash. So these guys are kind of... They just spawn in... <laughs> they spawn in random spots. I had to delay that C dash because the guy was in an annoying spot, so he ended up hitting me, which is really bad. You do not want to get hit in this split because you don't get a heal when you get to the trap bench, so... You also need to oh god, you need to damage tank devouts, um, which are the enemies in beast in, because it saves a lot of time to damage tank them once each, and there's two of them. So ideally, I don't get hit until after um, Hera. Oops, I think I started that C dash a little bit too high. <laughs> uh, uh oh, that's an oopsie. Uh oh. <laughs> can't say I've done that mistake too many times in my speedrunning career. <laughs> it's a pretty big time loss. <laughs> um, oops. Yeah, funnily enough, I'm not... It's not, you know, I'm, I died in Beast Den, so <laughs> I might be able to recover this. <laughs> Just as long as we don't do that in tomorrow's stream, well, we're good. <laughs> we have to get that out of our system. For swag strats, but falling instead. Thanks, whiskey. <laughs> swag strats are extremely important, even if they make you fall. Oh no. Oh no. I thought the second pogo would hit. Here we ignore the grub. Very important. Um, oh, that's not how you do that. I was trying to do my pest imitation. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ashley. <laughs> oh, man. We get the instant karma for not saving the grub, as well as for talking shit about Elderbug. <laughs> Both in the same run. <laughs> this takes a lot of time, because normally you have full soul coming into this. And, yeah. You can just cast three fireballs. You're doing great. <laughs> Thanks a lot, I don't know. <laughs> now do I save the grub? No, now I double down on not saving the grub. And hopefully, hopefully it doesn't cost me a second time.
You know, your shade actually ends up in a really weird spot when you dodge this devout. It's like on the left. Hey, finally made it to Hera. Don't worry, I am pretty sure world record dies here too. <laughs> yeah, definitely, Caleb. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're still on world record pace. We just need a really good Hollow Knight. Yeah, exactly, Megan. <laughs> Remember the Speedrunner vs. Hunters game that was ended by saving a grub? That's all the evidence I'll ever need. Uh, thanks a lot, Caleb. I really appreciate the support. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Overall, though, other than that death, um... and falling, this was an okay run. So I'm not, like, I'm not too unhappy about it. I think if I go into the race and I just try not to fall in Distant Village, I'll be okay. <laughs> we love your content and streams. Keep up the good work. Greets from the Netherlands. Uh, hey Luke, thanks a lot. Thank you very much. I hope to continue to deliver. I'm pretty sure you've got no evidence of that, Megan. <laughs> There's no evidence. I deleted all of it. Yeah, Ethan, unfortunately, World Record does have the saved Beast Den Grub. It's, it's quite tragic. I was really happy when Pest got Ricky, but the fact that he saved the Grub just kind of... I don't know anymore. Okay, now we've got a fat time save at THK. We just need to not die. that now, please. <laughs> oh, really good RNG. Holy crap. Very good RNG so far. Stop stabbing yourself, that would be nice. <laughs> Hollow Knight actually only takes one damage from every attack while stabbing himself. So it's it's not the best move for him to do. Thank you. <laughs> I played that fight really well. Nice. I am quite happy with that performance. Um, against THK, not the stuff before THK. <laughs> oh, it's not sub 320. 322. That's okay. That's not bad. Given the amount of parries, that is okay. I am content with that. Almost sub-36. 
<laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Thanks everyone for the GG's. Just four parries. Oh, it, yeah, I guess so. It, it felt like a little bit more, but I think you're right. Yeah. Uh, the 322 is the split time, so everything after Hera what to is the your end. Favorite boss in Hollow Knight? Also, never trash talk Elderbug again. <laughs> Uh, my favorite boss is Pure Vessel. Thanks a lot for the super chat, Obamatoon. Can't make any promises about Elderbug. I'm sorry. <laughs> Funny story is that um, everyone knows about the run invalid, you ignored Elderbug meme. So Scurry was actually going to make a video about that. I don't know if they still are, but um, Scurry wanted everyone to send them. Um, oh, thanks, Claroni. YouTube algorithm have chosen you. I was watching Mr. Pickles and somehow you were alongside with more cartoon videos. XD. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> um... Scurry said they wanted everyone to send their, like, run invalid Elderbug comments. I searched my YouTube channel comments for those, for that, for that post, like, just for Elderbug memes. I sent Scurry 106 of those comments. And I think that was only within, like, the last year of YouTube comments. If you talk to Elderbug, save that grub and use the way air compass, you would have gotten world yeah. record. I, I know, that was a fatal mistake on my end. Thank you, I don't know. <laughs> 106. A really, really crazy amount. I'm still, I'm still waiting on that video. I might end up making it if Scurry doesn't. <laughs> Control V, Control V. Yeah, exactly. And actually, now whenever I pull up my comment section on YouTube, because there's like a creator studio where we can just see like all the latest comments, it always shows up as like searching for Elderbug by default. So instead of just searching for comments I haven't responded to, which is normally what happens, whenever I open this up, it just searches for Elderbug comments. So every time I open up my creator studio, I just see Elderbug, um, run invalid, you ignored Elderbug, which is over and over and over. Every time I open this up, it's, it's fucked up. I, I wish it would end, but it, it never does. <laughs> I feel like if I give in and talk to Elderbug, it's just gonna, it's just gonna blow up even more. So you know you can't win. <laughs> the curse of Elderbug, it really is. <laughs> it ends once you talk to. No, it's not going to end. I can't can't escape it exactly, Rua. <laughs> Okay, um, I think we can beat that run, so let's let's give that a try. <laughs> might be possible. Accept my cursed fate. Yeah, I think I might just have to. If I'm being honest, I have no choice. All right. Run number two. Oh god. I swear I was holding down. <laughs> We're not off to a good start. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, thanks a lot, Joanna. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. I remember you've been commenting on my videos for a long time. Thanks for joining. All right, let's try to make up for that King's Pass. <laughs> Luckily, we have tons of time to save in every single split. Long time fan. <laughs> Thanks so much. Shitty game, shitty hitboxes. <laughs> I'm so happy that became a meme. <laughs> nice. No Elder Bug, oh no. Hey, we got double spike. Nice. We're a second ahead, despite side slashing that tick tick. <laughs> You've already committed a sin. Oh no. I'm so sorry. Thanks a lot, I don't know. Again. You've answered that pure vessel is your favorite boss a few times. Mind explaining why? Thanks for the great content. Thanks a lot, Ethan. Um, I love the music. I love it thematically. Hey, Fire, thank you so much for being the man you are. You are a great inspiration for us as a system. Much love to you and good luck oh. for the runs. Heart. Thank you so much, Ashley. I really appreciate it. I found your stream because of the manhunt. Bug hunt videos, but I haven't seen a lot of the speedruns. What qualifies as a major glitch? <laughs> Bug hunt. <laughs> um, major glitches are things... I think I can beat that run immediately gets hit by first enemy. <laughs> yeah. Thank, thanks, Obamaton. Thanks, Bathios. Um, so what qualifies as a major glitch... Oops. Is, uh, is stuff like invincibility, stuff like going out of bounds, stuff like flying. Um, it's all stuff that's voted on by the community, so... We don't have, like, an objective criteria. Oops, that is not what I'm supposed to do. So it is subjective to some extent. Also, like, just visually based off how it looks and what kind of effect it has on the game. So yeah, it's mainly just stuff that we vote on that people subjectively consider major. And thanks a lot again, Ashley. That's super generous of you. <laughs> Good time save. Minus 0, 0.0. We're saving time. It's all that matters. Uh, thanks a lot, Eons. Thanks for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Nice. Good double planks. It's kind of hard to hit both those planks at once. You have to do a kind of precise down slash. <laughs> it's also really hard to pogo those bench flies. It's super precise. It's an extremely challenging trick. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, Mr. Death of Man. Mr. Death of a Man. Love Thank you. you. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Leo. I'm glad you like the videos. I hope to continue to deliver. Nice. 
Nice. I hit both of them with two swings, which is good. Uh, hey, Shadow Colt. Thank you so much for becoming a member. It's very appreciated, and welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Nice. That was clean. Are we getting good time save again? Oh no, not even close. <laughs> it's less than a second lost though, so... We're gonna say that doesn't count. Oh god, that was horrible. I should have turned around and killed it. Because if I landed, I would have gotten hit by the AoE. Oops. Uh, thanks a lot, Luigi, for becoming a cultist. Holy crap. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Uh, anyone becoming a member, make sure to link your YouTube account to Discord. You do it inside of the Discord app. You just have to log on to YouTube through connections. And that way, on Discord, you'll get your member role and everything. That'll give you access to the hidden chats. Nice. What's the reason for waiting to shoot the third fireball at the balder until it spits a baby? Oh, um... The reason is, is that when you hit that balder, it gets stunned. But if you shoot two fireballs, the second fireball lands while it's still stunned. If you shoot a third fireball, it gets stunned a second time. And that means that it'll take longer to shoot the balder out because it's stunned. So we only shoot two just to avoid stunning it a second time. And thanks a lot, Anth Portal. Oh god, <laughs> I'm dropping inputs a little bit. Oh, I missed some Geo. That's okay. Uh, thanks a lot, Wasefi. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Good luck, Fire. Let's get this record. Let's get this record. Thanks a lot, Fenarg. Um, I'm probably not getting record today because uh, I'm just... I haven't done runs in like a bit over a year, so... I'm just try, kind of um, trying to get back in shape. Just so I, my first I need to send run ever in sub three hours thanks to your teachings. <laughs> thanks to my teachings. Oh no. Uh, you're totally welcome, Shadow Colt. Thank you for the donation. I'm glad to help out. Okay, Helen, good luck with your assignment. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> when he's a criminal. <laughs> um, more runs after the race. Um, I'll definitely consider doing more speedruns. I kind of wanted to do Pantheon 5 speedruns because I'm so used to playing on current patch now and it just performs a bit better. Like, I get, I'm getting a lot of um, dropped inputs and stuff, which kind of sucks. That might be solvable, though. I'm not too sure. More runs after race, please. <laughs> I'm definitely down to do more speedruns if that's what people want to see. Like, more any percent speedruns. Because I do still like this category. But it is more a part of my past than anything. I definitely prefer, like, challenge runs more so nowadays. Uh, especially because doing, like, repetitive practice on, like, Watcher Nights, which is probably the most important thing to practice in the entire run, uh, it's really tough on my hands. 
That might be the case for Pantheon runs too, though, but they require a little bit less practice, I think. At least, like, super repetitive practice. Hi, Fire and love your stream. Question, what song in Hollow Knight is your favorite? Hey, Michelle. Thank you very much. Uh, what's my favorite? I really like Sealed Vessel. Um, especially like when it goes to like the more sad, melancholy part. Um, I love this the whole soundtrack so much. Hollow Knight has my favorite OST in any game, so it's like really hard to pick a single single track. Uh, Mantis Lords is super good. Green Path, super good. City of Tears, super good. There's just so many good tracks. And really, like, having a, a really good OST is one of the most important things for me. For, like enjoying a game like obviously I enjoy the gameplay and lore and everything of Hollow Knight a lot but the soundtrack was what stood out the most to me even though I'm just like doing speedruns and stuff which don't really emphasize the soundtrack much just the gameplay <laughs> But it's also really nice that um, Team Cherry and Christopher Larkin are like okay with content creators using Hollow Knight music in their own productions. That's very, very cool of them. Are you allowed to have mods installed in official runs? Um, generally, no. Uh, thanks so much, uh, Nedass, for becoming a disciple. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Thank you very much. Um, modding API actually... <laughs> Oops. Oh, that works out <laughs> surprisingly well. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, modding API actually changes the performance of the game. So when you have modding API on, which is required for mods in general, your game runs at a higher FPS. So it gives you an advantage over people who don't run modding API. So we just say like, you can't use mods at all. And also, if you have modding API on, it's a lot easier to cheat, so. As you have probably learned from my recent video. <laughs> Imagine if I just toggled invincibility for Watcher Knights. <laughs> or as I was about to fall in Distant Village, if I just toggled no clip on and flew back up. It was just a glitch in the video, guys. <laughs> Are there shader mods? Um, not that I know of. There is a mod that adds like random um, ambient colors to the scenes, which is kind of fun to play around with, but it, it's not quite the same as like a shader mod or anything, I think. Shitty game, shitty hitboxes. Give yourself this, Mister. <laughs> yeah, I'll just swim across QGA. No one's gonna notice. Shh. 
Shader mod in THK room is cursed. Uh, yeah, I guess I can believe you. The fluke marm one was upsetting. Yeah. Apparently he also streamed after the video got posted. And was like breaking the video apart. <laughs> kind of cringe. Why do you use the D-pad whenever you can? Uh, I use D-pad because I'm on the wrong side. Oops. I use D-pad because when you're using analog stick, you always have to pass through the middle before the input actually switches. So like there's a big dead zone is what it's called. And in my opinion, it just makes the analog stick a bit less precise. Um, the other thing is that you can easily accidentally pogo if you like just accidentally are too far down or up slash if you're too far up on the analog stick, even though you're just trying to hold like left or right. So D-pad, I find a little bit more reliable. Uh, there are top like the world record holder in this category uses analog, so it's totally legit. But um, if you are making the choice between analog or D-pad and you're trying to speedrun, I'd say definitely use D-pad. Unless you have a controller with a crappy D-pad. Like if you have a Xbox 360 controller, you can just use analog because <laughs> th that D-pad sucks. You don't want to use that. Thanks for the donation, random name. Down to 80 minutes using your Steam Guide. If you want to install an older version to do some of the tricks. What's WR on current version? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe someone in chat knows. I think it's like a... Th okay, 36. Oh, that's pretty good. I, I was going to say 37. Uh, thanks a lot, Just Justavian. I'm glad the guide helped out. <laughs> yeah, the 360 D-pad is super cursed. It's not like... Oh, why am I benching? It's not as bad as, like, some of the Nintendo controller D-pads, like the N64 controller D-pad. For anyone who is old enough to have used the N64, that was a nightmare. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, this is not great. Okay, at least we didn't miss any Geo. <laughs> we won't speak of it. Yeah. Rock Candy 360 D-pad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> also, a lot of the best players in the game use keyboard too, so... If you're considering that, it's also great to use keyboard. I almost feel like keyboard is better overall, but I think it's a lot harder to get used to. Uh, oops, where the hell am I? <laughs> Oh god. I got lost in the dark room last time too. Maybe that's something I should do a little bit of practice for before the uh, event. Oh man. Okay. But yeah, if you've got a Rock Candy 360 controller, don't use that deep pad. <laughs> Highly recommend against it. Okay, I'm glad I got that double hit. Hmm. 
That was late. I was kind of going for a triple, but okay. I'm glad that guy on the right side. Otherwise, I would have had to chase him. <laughs> Oops. Uh, again, the triple attempt was a bit late. That was an okay fight. That was passable. I am alright with that. It's a 101 split. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh no, it was one, 111. That's not so good, but it's okay. <laughs> I thought I thought the split was way better than... There's no way it could have been a 101. <laughs> Are my alerts getting backed up again? Hmm. Oh yeah, I'm getting subscription notifications, even though I definitely turned them off and I hit I confirmed it to in Streamlabs. I hope I hope it's uh not lagging the feed too much. Oh good work, Helen. I'm glad you finished that assignment up. Okay, this is still an all right time. Like, I get 33 with this as long as I get a two cycle. <laughs> Streamlabs is chugging super hard. <laughs> I'm just gonna read. Are they releasing any new DLC anytime soon? Um, no, Ostonio, they aren't. They actually just released a new beta patch, though, after, like, must be over a year. Which is super surprising, and it's apparently causing a lot of trouble for modders. So that's awesome. And it's only just some, like, super small fixes. It's, it's cool that they're fixing stuff. It's kind of sad that it has the side effect of messing things up for modders. There we go. Nice. Thanks a lot, Blue, for becoming a member. Um, is that Nadas in Blue? Thank you very much. Are they releasing any new DLC anytime soon? Or maybe even a sequel? Oh yeah, well they, they are doing a sequel, uh, Silk Song. Uh, Hollow Knight Silk Song, which will feature Hornet as a character. Spicer inventory drops on former updates. On PS4 you have to do it the frame you. Fall yep. off of the platform or else the game doesn't open it. On older updates, it's not precise at all. Like, you can just open up your inventory at any point in the air, and it opens up fine. Um, there is still precision to when you close the inventory, because you want to close it, like, right before you land on the ground, and so that you can dash, like, as soon as you hit the ground, basically. Uh, so, there's precision in the speedrunning sense, but, um not precision in terms of just doing it. Oops. Uh, thanks a lot, Pseudo Oracle. And thanks a lot, Fly Out Fate. I'm, I'm sorry Streamlabs was getting a bit backed up, so those were all delayed thank yous. <laughs> thank you all so much. How are you doing today, Fire and Chat? I'm doing really well, Blue. I was actually feeling kind of sick last night, so I'm I'm glad I'm feeling much better today. Come 
Might you know? be because I spent like 13 hours yesterday editing. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot, Slime Vessel. Thank you for becoming a member, and welcome everyone to the God Gamer Academy. We have an Among Us in Hollow Knight video coming out. <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah, Megan, I tend to binge edit. It's probably not the best idea. I've been trying to not do it quite so much. Thanks, Fly Out Fate. Thank you for becoming a disciple. Yeah, Megan, I'm, I'm trying to get better at it. Oh. <laughs> So if that guy decides not to throw a pickaxe, then you just kind of have to go around. But normally we do that trick, it's called pogaxe, and you just pogo the pickaxe that the guy throws. Sometimes he doesn't throw it. It's pretty unlikely for that to happen, but it is a big time loss, unfortunately. Oh, nice. We got the god pixel. Oh yeah, the strat is to just damage tank. I, f I forgot. <laughs> Gob axe. Yeah, thanks, Rua. I will pay you to edit me out. Sal, no. I was kind of sad you died. Oh, shit. I don't want to spoil anyone, but anyway, <laughs> you were great in those games. I almost just spoiled my own video. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of, I, I pretty much said it, but, you know, I didn't finish the thought, at least. <laughs> Two donations? Couldn't be us. Aw, oh, thank you very much, Ashley. It's super generous of you. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> I'm all for spoilers, keep them coming. <laughs> I am kind of bad at spoiling things sometimes. Head. That is nice. We were up against a pretty hard Crystal Heart split to beat. At least at this level of rust for myself. <laughs> so that's okay to lose a little bit of time there. Oh no, I bonked my head. I, oh god. <laughs> no. I, as requested, I did end up getting bonked. Oh no. Oh <laughs> no. Um, hopefully I don't die here.
I'm going to not heal. I'm just gonna try to play safe. Um, that's not what you're supposed to do. Oh, well, let's go for a three cycle of sorts. Oh god, what am I doing? <laughs> I was trying to pogo him again. It was totally unnecessary to go for that pogo. I should have went up the wall, but but I know electricity spawns on the wall, so I kinda wanted to just like pogo him to get up higher quickly. Oh no. Uh okay, yeah, that was barely doable. Uh it's okay though. I wonder if my time is still beatable. It actually might be. <laughs> Cause I, I did have the distant village fall and then also dying in Beasten at the very end. So I think I can still I can still PB. Let's do this. I just need to play pretty well for the rest of the game. Yeah, this is all just for practice anyway. Ashley is putting money in the right place. I loved the line from the first Dono about being a great role model in the HK community. Even things like inclusive pronouns are easy to overlook, but you do a great job of making everyone feel welcome. Thanks a lot, Funk. Um, means a lot to hear that. Thank you very, very much. Uh, I think I'll heal here because I have full soul. <laughs> I should have should have toggled that invincibility on. Oh, he's doing this is the extra attack that Umu can do. Um, that was not a good dunk, unfortunately. <laughs> oh no. Uh like, no matter what happens with Umu, you really want to get, like, a double hit at the end. So missing out on that is not good. Okay. Maybe a three cycle is possible. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, he's doing another extra. Don't die. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Oops. You know, I was just saying last run that going into this um, going into this race, being confident in Umu is really gonna help. <laughs> so, but that that was kind of more so just like I had I took a lot of damage in teachers' archives, so it's not too big of a deal. Or we can just say we're saving the good RNG for the raise. <laughs> yes, we can get a trans right. <laughs> we have a we have a Sherma Pride emote as well. 
we can also get an LGBT rights. That death is really costly, so I'm actually not sure if we can still beat this PB, even if we uh, do the rest of the game perfectly. It might be kind of close, not too sure. Maybe the play for the race is just to like bench before we move. <laughs> Then just like hope someone else dies. Just play extra safe. If we just if we play super safe and just play to avoid last place, then I think we can do it. I quit playing HK for a while after giving up on doing a 112 file, but I randomly found your YT and got back into the game. Thanks for being amazing. I'm really glad, Nosa. Hope you enjoy uh, going for 112. Thank you very much for the support. Yeah, sometimes those Mantis Petras can be in kind of awkward spots. I need a little bit more soul here as well. You really want to be full soul going into Beast Den. So, yeah, I got that hit on that guy. And you can also sometimes get hits on these spiders. Oh, that guy was just a bit too far left. So there is one more spider I can hit to get full soul. There we go, nice. Oops, kind of messed up the movement a tiny bit. Let's not fall here, please. happened twice in one stream. <laughs> I was so nervous. Oh no. <laughs> oh what 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 is going on? <laughs> I think I've only done that twice total before this point. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> let's let's not do the optimal dash into the side of that platform. <laughs> I'll just do the safe dash. It's a little bit too spicy for me right now. Yeah, Luigi. I'll try my best. Toggle no clip. Yeah, I really should. <laughs> yeah, Megan, I kind of might have fallen a little bit. <laughs> now my HP is really low too, because I got hit a couple times. Which sets me up for the beast and death as well. Oh, you bastard. I'm going, I don't care. 
This is... <laughs> yeah, I was literally about to say, this is how you practice being clutch. <laughs> Oh man. We can let's let's go for sub 40. How about that? This is a win if we get sub 40. <laughs> that was a, that was a pretty good Hera split up until Oh, what the heck? Up until um, the the fuck the fall. <laughs> I'm just getting hit by everything. Oh no! It's spiraling out of control. <laughs> If any of you wanted to see the god gamer at his lowest, this is it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Maybe the play here is to secretly play on a modded Hollow Knight file. As long as we show the debug menu afterwards, it's legit, right? <laughs> At least we get to ignore the grub again. Happy times. Um. I guess we'll just go straight up to this <laughs> devout. <laughs> Usually when I de-rest, I practice Beast Den a couple times. Which is generally all it takes for me to uh, be okay at it. I'm making a lot of like uh, common mistakes. That's okay though. We're just going for sub 40. <laughs> Meme runs. <laughs> That's good to know, Megan. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. Uh, you can't actually get past them, Megan. They're kind of like a wall. Like the Baldur's, pretty much. Oh, I think I'm supposed to be mashing there. <laughs> Oh god. Oops. Whew. That's okay though. <laughs> we have to get all of this out of our system. Uh, thanks so much, Avery. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. For morale, beat Den One. Hold you back tomorrow. Oh, thanks a lot, Ethan. I will make sure to get a good beast den tomorrow. Don't want to disappoint. But if I do disappoint, I may as well just fall before beast den to make it fun. <laughs> May as well be a catastrophic failure. Oops. I think I can get a good run though. If I'm like really focused, it'll be a bit easier. I'll just be streaming on Twitch, so I won't be like um, uh, interacting or anything. I'll just be muted. So that makes things a lot easier. At least there's no primal aspids in any percent. Yes. Thank God for that. <laughs> Thanks, Megan. I'm glad you feel that way.
don't die like three times. <laughs> Good advice. Thanks, Pongate. Kim. My THK is okay. Oh, that was the insta scream. Normally, you can get a scream skip because he telegraphs his scream a little bit. But sometimes he just does it, like, instantly. There's not much he can really do. Oops. Oh god. <laughs> uh, not the best fight, but that was actually okay, I think. <clears throat> That's like a 3.30-something. Okay, have fun, the shark god. Oops. I left, he was in city, I come back, and he beats the game. Yeah, it wasn't the cleanest, but, you know, I'm glad you're still enjoying it. We got sub 40. You know, that that's what counts. If it's above 40, that's kind of... You know, that's that's the threshold where I'll probably reset. <laughs> Thanks everyone for the GG's again. Really appreciate y'all hanging out. GG GG. <laughs> There's a mod that replaces THK with Pure Vessel. That would be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> I think that would be nice for, um... All skills. All skills kind of, um... It's a speedrun where you get all the skills in the game. But you don't have to get true ending because the objective is just getting all skills and ending the game. So they just, like, go to the Hollow Knight and, like, instantly whoop his ass. So it's like a bit anticlimactic. There's also an all skills tournament. I'm not sure what channels that, that is uh, being hosted on, but if any of you are interested in that, is it on Hollow Knight Community or Hollow Knight Speedruns on Twitch? I think it's one of the two. But they're doing a tournament right now for the all skills speedrun category. Speed gaming. Okay, speed gaming. <laughs> Yeah, it's on speed gaming, so it'll be on one of those, like speed gaming or speed gaming two, three, or four. If you're followed to those channels, you can see when those uh, streams pop up. Want to see Fireborn at AGDQ? Um, I'll probably sign up for SGDQ. We'll see what category I do. It might be like a meme run. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but last time I did SGDQ, it was really, really chill and cool. Um, I want to do it in person more so. Not possible right now. Uh, thanks a lot, Yeet Boy. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Uh, yeah, Zalient. Please link that. Uh, is any percent NMG my favorite category? Uh, currently I'm like, I've just done it too much. So like, 
it's not quite as fun for me as it used to be. And there's like a bit less to discover, and that was something that I really enjoyed about speedruns. It's still a great speed. <laughs> SGDQ, let's do it. Um, and just a reminder, everyone, that uh, I'm practicing right now for the Hollow Knight 4th anniversary event. So tomorrow, Hollow Knight will have been released for four years, and we're doing an event with a variety of speedruns. Um, there's going to be, we're going to be starting off at 9 a.m. Central, uh, 10 a.m. Eastern tomorrow morning. And that's going to be, we're going to be doing an any percent NMG race to start things off. And then there's going to be a bunch of other speedruns afterwards. Uh, lots of the top Hollow Knight speedrunners will be playing. So it'll be really cool. And I hope you all come and check it out. Thanks, you boy. How did I start playing HK? Um, I started playing, one of my friends just recommended the game to me because like I love Metroidvania games. And I got into it, it was after playing Overwatch for a little bit, so like I was just burnt out on multiplayer games. Like I just don't wanna be yelled at by my teammates so much. So I was like, let's get into speedrunning. And I, I just like, I picked up Hollow Knight and I was like, this game's awesome. I'm gonna speedrun it. Uh, thanks for uh, joining the God Gamer Academy, Wiz Hero. And thanks, Whiskey, by the way, for the donation. It's much appreciated. Ooh, welcome, Wiz Hero. Oh yeah, I hope they do announce it, Salient. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take a one minute break just to go to, go to the bathroom. Um, I will be back in just a moment and we'll be doing more no reset runs. Hopefully we can beat our PB of 3608. <laughs> I'll see you all shortly. Thanks a lot for hanging out. Alrighty. One minute. <laughs> minute? Minute. Not a moment more. <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully the ads are finished. I'm, I have no idea how they work or how long they last. I just hit the button. That's all I know how to do. Okay. Let's con continue doing no reset runs. I'm like losing the ability to speak. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be okay. Did you see the fan art Hefe made? Uh, no. I'll definitely check that out though. Thank you, Hefe. That's really cool. I'm always like really flattered when people make fan art. It's crazy. Okay. Let's try to get sub 3608. I think we can do this. We really just need a deathless run. <laughs> That's all we need. 
and uh, not falling in Distant Village. Well, actually, we could fall in Distant Village, as long as we don't also die. I'm hoping we don't, but, you know, if we do, we can still PB. <laughs> Is that a bathroom PB? That was a pretty quick bathroom break. <laughs> I was gonna say, we got sub 52. Not quite. It felt like a sub 52. Maybe we'll get the world first sub 52 in the next attempt. <laughs> One hundred percent he's throwing on purpose. <laughs> I can see why you'd think that, Skylar. <laughs> Do I still play HK casually? Um, I don't. But I have been thinking about doing... I know, like, Cranky Templar is doing a Hell Mod run with Steel Soul, and I think that sounds really fun. I think I'd probably try to make it even harder, because you know how I am, but something like that could be cool, for sure. Uh, thanks a lot, Super Turtle. Appreciated. It is appreciated. Bathroom, any percent. <laughs> Helmon plus impossible all the night, any percent. Mm, I think I might pass on that one. How about impossible Hollow Knight any percent plus debug mod? How about that? <laughs> that is my preferred mod for that for that map. I was thinking, I was thinking hell mod all bindings, but like maybe, oops, I bonked. But maybe like a nerfed version of hell mod. Yeah, you should have lunch, Megan. Ooh, God, I should. What? Oh my God. False night death incoming. Wow, my inputs are really weird. I was also thinking about doing that hunt. I think you have two... Do you actually have a one nail damage? <laughs> Holy crap, that would be hilarious. One nail damage and you take four damage when you get hit. <laughs> Very epic. Oh, and you also have reduced health, so... Oh no, you, you take two damage, right? All bindings doesn't increase your damage taken. But you'd have, I think, three health to start off with, so... You take two damage. If it's an attack which deals double damage, then you'd just get insta-killed. Only 3,000 hits to kill Pure Vessel. <laughs> That's not too bad. That's doable, I think. You have to pull an all-nighter just to kill Pure Vessel. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's do it. <laughs> what about hell mod all bindings but you have an AK-47 
Oh yeah, the one nail damage. Abs rad. <laughs> that was so funny because in one of those attempts, 56 got that glitch where you... I think it was 56 got that glitch where like the the black shit comes up and just like insta-kills you. After like two hours of fighting any radiant or absolute radiance with one nail damage. What a horrible way to lose the run. <laughs> just get insta-killed. Yeah, actually, I think it would be doable. Um, it kind of depends on... how many openings there would be to heal. Because you definitely are going to get hit, so you need openings to heal, and just, like, if there are more openings to heal than I think, then it might be okay. Pure Vessel's ordinarily, like, pretty difficult to heal on, though. Like, normally it's just staggers that I heal on. But that one attack where he does, like, that circle thing around him, I think you can definitely heal on that, like, twice, so... As long as Pure Vessel's doing that attack, I think you could eventually kill him, even if you had one nail damage. I actually did a one nail damage um, speedrun. It wasn't really that hard. It, like, I did it without spells, and it was still not too bad. It just took a long time. The bosses like Pure Vessel and stuff would be pretty difficult. Just because the, the margin for error is so much lower. Yeah, I agree, Bert. It would just be... it would require a lot of patience. If it exists, it's doable. <laughs> Don't flex. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> it is a little bit scary to do a one nail damage run on Watcher Knights. And Umu just takes forever. Umu isn't hard. Because you can heal after every single phase. I feel like this is the point of the stream where I start, like, making routing mistakes because I'm getting too... I'm getting too, like, um comfortable. <laughs> that's... Dude, Hornet, that's not... That's not a good pattern. Don't do that. Oh my god. Not the long jump. There we go. Okay. Um... Not the best fight, but we're saving time, and that's all that matters. The guy who died to Umu twice in the speedrun. <laughs> oh man. That might have happened, yeah. One challenge that I want to do, Glass Soul Pantheon 5. <laughs> I was actually thinking about learning P5 Hitless. I think it would be a lot of fun to um to do that long grind, and I I genuinely enjoy hitless runs, even though it is like frustrating. It's also super rewarding to me. Especially to think about the strategies. Oops, it's a little bit too far left there.
That's like the main thing that even interests me about speedruns is coming up with new strats. In 2019, when I came back to this game, after a break, I just spent like an entire month just... I didn't do a single run, I just learned new strats and came up with strats for a month, and it was awesome. I don't actually do that many runs of this category, even like historically. Don't limit- don't listen to the criminal man. <laughs> don't worry. I won't. <laughs> Join us, fire. <laughs> nice. Good. I lost a bit of time, but that was- that was a good split in that last run. So I am content with that. <laughs> yeah, in P5 hit lists, like, that creates a lot of fun moments. And by fun moments, I mean, like, absolutely horrifying moments for me, but fun moments for everyone else. <laughs> But I kind of enjoy that too, so it's all good. Oh, you're gonna try it, Bert. Good luck. Okay, relax. Thank you very much for hanging out. Hope you have a nice day. Okay. This is not a bad split so far. Hey, there we go. Saving time on Grasmother. You love to see it. It's not normally a split where you should be able to save that much time, but <laughs> I'm glad we did. Oh, that was perfect. Ideally, you kill all the grasses, but I reacted to that one on the right being a little bit high. I don't think I could have got all of them. But I got the next best thing. Oh no. I was really hoping to get knocked back to the left there by that husk. Nice. Okay. No fireball, I am happy. Shade fireballs lose a lot of time. Actually, it's kind of sad because World Record is like almost getting to the point where like Shade Fireball really screws you over. 
Like, for me, it's just an inconvenience. Like, they still have a lot of time to shave off their PBs, but... Like, four seconds is still a lot. Three or four seconds. Shadow Cult, you want to be a god gamer when you grow up? Nice. You got this. Speedrun Dragon's Dogma. I really enjoyed that game casually. That's cool. I bet that would be a really fun and jank speedrun. Do you just like spam those explosive arrows everywhere? Because that's what I did in my casual playthrough. <laughs> it was so busted. Maybe we can get this. Oh, we got it. Nice. Getting bumped up onto that first platform as it spawns is a big time save. But it's also kind of kind of precise to do. <laughs> Everyone can be a god gamer. Radiant Vengefly King. Um, learn how to do the off-screen pogo, maybe. <clears throat> so I, I would recommend Mark of Pride and Shaman Stone. So you do a bunch of pogos on them. Um, and then you go underneath them and um go for abyss shrieks once you get like full soul you can get three off and then like dash or double jump back onto the big platform uh the off-screen pogo is when you so flying ai always flies away from you if you're close to them and that's the same for bench liking so oh i really should have hit those guys So as long, like, I always go to the Vengefly King on the left, and as long as you're to the right of that Vengefly King, it'll continue to back up. So it'll fly, like, up and to the left into the corner of the screen, where you can be above the screen and just pogo it. And, like, nothing's gonna... You're not gonna be at any risk of taking damage unless you fall into it. Which, to be fair, is pretty easy to do. Um, but pogoing it generally is, like, pretty good, as long as you can time the pogos. I don't know if it got hit twice. Oops, it only got hit once there. <laughs> mm, I think I'm just gonna use the normal strats. Okay. That worked out. World record for New Game Plus is just over 14 minutes. That's pretty crazy. My best time being 16 minutes? Wow. I am kind of curious how that speedrun works. I'm always curious about RPG speedruns like that. I'm, I'm going to get into them more, like, someday, once my hands can't handle um, platformer speedruns like Hollow Knight and Celeste and stuff. Oops. Dark room is really the bane of my existence today. <laughs> That's okay though. It's not really a huge time loss. Yeah, 
Yeah, Aurelia really has like an infectious enthusiasm for the game. That was okay. on a triple, unfortunately. Oh no. That really sucks. Hmm. That was an okay fight, overall. I'm definitely alright with that. Sorry, I'm not keeping up with chat. Oh, Luigi, you play Super Monkey Ball? That speedrun is so cool. Like, I, I bet the strats you come up with for that game are just crazy. Just because of pause buffering, really. <laughs> pause buffering makes that game, like, so much more interesting. If that's something that you're into. Especially because, like, you have certain strats where you, like, use the timer and you pause and you hold, hold directions in a certain way. It's just, like, really crazy. And then you have backup strategies if you, like, mess up just slightly. There's really just so much to memorize. <clears throat> Somehow four entire enemies didn't spawn. <laughs> The ox cart mission is a fourth of the run. <laughs> oh man. Well, that makes sense. It felt like a fourth of my casual playthrough as well. God, I hate Watcher Nights so much. You should definitely, if you ever speedrun the game, play all skills or something because. Some of these categories just, like, absolutely destroy Watcher Nights with spells. And any percent NMG is not one of those categories. In any percent NMG, you have a hard Watcher Nights fight. But the categories where you have, like, Shade Soul or Descending Dark, you just absolutely destroy Watcher Nights, and it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy this fight, too, though. Pause buffering is so cool. You have an entire document of strats. Yeah, exactly. Yo, Francis. Thanks so much for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. They're so easy in all skills. Yeah, exactly. That's like legitimately a lot of people quit any percent just because of Watcher Nights, and it's understandable. Like back when I played, uh, back when I was learning any percent, the Watcher Nights fight was on an older patch where they were a little bit easier because they're they were just less rolly. They like rolled a bit less, and um, we also used a nail upgrade back in the day. Now we don't, so like people. Learning the run nowadays have it so much more difficult, and they get discouraged when they have trouble with Watcher Knights, but, like, the reality is, like, Watcher Knights are just super tough to learn. So it totally makes sense why a lot of people don't uh, continue learning the category. 
Oops. And it's actually funny to... Th Oops. <laughs> it's fun to think about because... If I came to Hollow Knight today and tried to learn any percent NMG, I don't know if I'd even stick with it because it's... It's so much harder than it used to be. Back when I learned it, it was so easy in comparison. Like when I was starting, we we went through Soul Sanctum to get Dive, and then we got Descending Dark, and that was the any percent route. <laughs> so we had Descending Dark for all the boss fights. It was much easier in comparison. <laughs> But then, then the shade skip was discovered, and that was like a week after I started. That was where things started to get more difficult. <laughs> the run was so different, yeah, exactly. My first world record was like a 45, I think. Nowadays, we are kind of blessed in that um, we have better tools to practice with. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> like, back in the day, we didn't have debug mod or save states. We had a program where you had to alt-tab out, and you clicked a checkbox to give yourself infinite HP or infinite soul, and that was all we had to practice with. Now we have, ever since we got save states, save states just increased the optimization of the run by so much. Like, it's just, it made a world of difference. After save states came out, we were like minutes ahead of our run before then. The best time with, the D -dark route? with the D Dark route, um, I think it adds probably like six minutes. I don't know what the best time with it is. My best time is probably like 48 minutes or something. <laughs> Thanks a lot though, John. My first world record on YouTube was a 46.27. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Join, but I only have iPhone. Love your stuff, man. I like forgot to dash. That was so scary. Thanks a lot, Charlotte. No worries about not joining. Hey, Ruby. I'm glad you could join. But yeah, thanks a lot for the super chats. It's much appreciated. I hope you're all enjoying the runs. I wasn't quite sure if people would want to watch, but I'm, I'm surpri surprised so many people are hanging out. Back in my days, we didn't have no fancy save state. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Francis. <laughs> Back in my day, we had to replace our save file every single time we wanted to practice the Ma Mantis Petra arena. In Queen's Gardens. Every single time we wanted to practice that arena, we had to quit out, replace our save file. Now you just... Uh, load a safe state. It's awesome. Yeah, Kim, it's it's really awesome. So many people hang out. 
so glad you're living the dream of being a full-time content creator. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Andy. That's very generous of you. I'm really glad to, and it's thanks to everyone's support. Oh, crap. Not another three health ammo, please. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> oh, no. Um, well, the fact that I... I'm just gonna focus for this, I think. Okay. Focus mode. the timer you use for your speed runs uh life split i am gay also fire b0 r in her hot eyelid We lived. <laughs> and that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, the timer we use is live split. I have a guide for it on speedrun.com. So if you go to speedrun.com and search up the Hollow Knight section, and then click on guides, there's a live split tutorial. It's not too difficult to set up, but there are some things that you should probably know when doing so. <laughs> Thanks everyone for the GG's. <laughs> Thank you, Kenta, as well, and Smile Centaur. Oh, congrats, Megan. Radiant Vengefly King down. Nice. Hey, Fire. Thanks for the stream. Here's a silly question. Why do you pronounce JS on files like that? I've only heard it be called Jason. Just curious. Oh, um... I actually haven't ever heard anyone else pronounce them, so I just kind of, like, made it up on my own. <laughs> Um, I was actually taking, like, an IT, uh, program before I decided to go full-time with this. Um, and we didn't do those files very much, so. Thanks a lot for the donation, though. It's much appreciated, Bellin. Nice. First try. Uh, feels good to get that first try. <laughs> now it's finally time to fall in Distant Village. Now it's finally time to go fall in Distant Village again. <laughs> good Please, luck, no. that game or also trans rights baby. Trans rights baby. <laughs> Thanks, Bitsgirl. Nice. Yeah, back in my day, we had to load a save file every single time we did that. <laughs> That's why we all sucked so bad. Oh, crap.
Thank you for keeping me company while bedridden. Chronic pain is kicking me today. I love HK but disability means never trying speedruns myself. You're welcome, Dimanche. I hope you uh, get better soon. Chronic pain sucks. I haven't had to deal with it too much myself, but. GG no longer means good game. It's now God Gamer. <laughs> GG means God Gamer. <laughs> okay, this is looking quite clean. We're going into Distant Village. What could go wrong? <laughs> We're taking this so safe. <laughs> I didn't even dash to the platforms, I just jumped. <laughs> We're not falling though. Disability, solidarity, indeed. The only boss I haven't beaten Radiant is the Radiant. So I always get hit during the climb. Yeah, the climb's tough. Um, you can kind of bait the lasers a little bit. If you like move out and then dash in. Um, because the lasers are based off your positioning, so you can kind of bait them a little bit. I'm not sure if I'm explaining that very well. That was a bit shaky. Mm. Okay. We're safe. I'm 2GO short. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh boy. We're just gonna have to get the Geo Rock um, right next to Hera. That's okay, that's only like two seconds. Uh, hey, Cassandra. Thanks so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Got my first sub 45 on current patch thanks to your videos. Gonna push for sub 40 this week. Nice Technic bot. That's really good. Um, current patch runs are slower than this patch, so like a sub 45 is like a pretty respectable time. So that's really good. Thanks for the uh, donation, by the way. Current patch is also deceptively harder than this patch. Thanks for the speedrun tutho videos. I began practicing with it still have some issues with the Manus Pogo though. Still got sub one hour on current patch. Have a nice stream. Nice. Thank you so much, Eisenthal. Mantis Pogo is like it's it's again one of those things that's um Back in the old days, we did it in like a super easy method, and then as we got better at the game, we started using the more difficult methods. The current method is pretty precise. So if you're having trouble with it, don't feel bad about it. It's just Many hard. Years have passed since I have seen HK. Hey, Boogie. Thanks so much for the donation. <laughs> I am happy to spread Hollow Knight. It is awesome content. I love this game so much. <laughs> Thanks for keeping that counter slime vessel. Hopefully it stays at two. 
back in my day. <laughs> We're gonna need a back in my day counter too, perhaps. <laughs> Sounding like an old man. A little bit. My TH kit, my Hollow Knight fights have been pretty good, so I'm I'm confident. Other than that one where I died, but that happened off stream, so. Oops. Oh no. Unfortunate. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Keep doing that. Keep going. Nice. That was good. That was really good. Okay, just keep dashing. I'm okay with this. Nice. Okay, not quite a 33, but that's a big personal best for the day. So, that's good. <laughs> Stop burying. <laughs> if I can get a 34 like that in the, uh, the race, I'll be quite happy. So that is not bad. That is not bad at all. It would have been a 33 with a two-cycle Umu. 112 steel sold my biggest achievement yet. Oh, nice. Congrats. I don't know. That's really cool. I have not done 112% steel soul yet. <laughs> it is a cool accomplishment, though. Thanks a lot, everyone, for the GGs, by the way. It's been pretty fun to do this uh, speedrun again. It's been so long. <laughs> I think the uh We have rescinded the nickname Reb Zero, you are now Fern. I'm now Fern. Alright. <laughs> Thanks, Slime Vessel. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I, I think the the point at which I've, like, de-rusted decently is when I can get a 33. And I think 33 is pretty easily within my grasp, so... That run makes me a bit more confident. Hopefully, hopefully in the race tomorrow I don't die or fall in Distant Village. I'm just going to be trying not to do either of the two. But at the same time, you can't play too cautiously in a race, so... We might have to risk dying a little bit. Thanks a lot, Fly Outfit. I'm glad you're enjoying it. My youth has returned. <laughs> Just take it slow. Yeah, I'll definitely try to play safe, so I don't die. But if I do die, it'll just be funny, so, you know, it's a win-win. Just don't avoid Elder Bug. No promises, mini pretzels. <laughs> there will be a perfect run. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thanks, Megan and Rua. They're both gonna fall in Distant Village. 
I hope no one else does. <laughs> that would be highly unfortunate. I'm okay with it happening to me, but if it happens to someone else and they get sad, that would be... Uh, I don't want that. I know some people take their race performances very seriously, and I did in the past, too. Like, um, when I missed the two-cycle versus Pest in SGDQ, I was like, I was pretty upset. But then I was like, you know, it's just for charity. So, as long as... It, it would have been more fun for everyone to watch, I think, if we were closer, but... You know, it is how it is. And he is the better player right now. As long as you have fun, it's a W, indeed. Why do I hate grubs? Um, <clears throat> it's a reaction to the community. Everyone says you have to save the grub in Beast Den. But I think saving the grub loses time because you have to turn around and hit it. Like, turning around loses time, you know? You're supposed to go left, but the grub is to the right. So, like, are we speedrunners, or are we playing the game casually? And even if we are, grubs are kind of gross, so... That's why I don't like saving grubs. You fell twice today so that you don't have to tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> you lose two frames, exactly. And that two frames could be the difference between a world record and second place. <clears throat> so you're saying the grub is worth less than one second, yes. <laughs> you lose like three frames, exactly, you lose three frames. It's a big deal. <laughs> okay, Luigi. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for hanging out. I'm gonna do one more run. We'll just, uh... I don't know if we'll be able to beat the 3412, but it's definitely doable. So, I'm feeling more and more confident with these runs. So I think one more run should be good for practice. Would have gotten 13th spot on the leaderboards after not practicing for a year. No, oh, thanks, Megan. <laughs> The value of the grub is dependent on the player. I mean, I'll agree that it is subjective, but don't save the grubs, okay? Just don't do it. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> that's why. That's why pest is better. No, no. <laughs> All right, let's do this. When you get 1 million subs, you better do a save the grub percent. No, I'm gonna do an ignore the grub percent when I hit a million subs. Like Scurry did. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore every grub and name the grubs. Except unlike Scurry, it won't be nice names. It'll be like garbage can head or something, you know? It'll just be I'll just be talking crap to the grubs. I got hit by the tick tick again. <laughs> um, thanks, Zaddy, for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Oops. It is much appreciated. Well, I think we might not get the 52 Kings Pass this time. <laughs> I think it might be a 53. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, 54. Wow. Hey, who said I got Grubber Fly casually? I, I actually don't think I've ever gotten 112% casually, so... I just downloaded the save files. <laughs> I did do, um, like, the Grim Troop DLC 
normally. But when it came to Got Home, I just like... I was just like, give me the files, someone, <laughs> please. <laughs> okay. Getting hit there wasn't too bad. I kind of canceled the knockback with opening inventory. <laughs> Nice. Uh, hey, Icy Crobat. Thank you so much for becoming a disciple. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. You remember trying to speedrun King's Pass and choking at every possible point? Yeah. It kind of be like that. Even in King's Pass, there's some difficult stuff like the uh, soft fall in the Vengefly Pogo. And getting an optimized time in King's Pass is pretty challenging. Just because of how the movement in this game is. Uh, thanks a lot, Nub, for becoming a member. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. But like, getting really optimized turnarounds is the main thing, and jumps. Ooh, crap. That's like, never been my strong suit. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm pretty good at bosses and at hitting difficult tricks. Uh, thanks a lot, Candy Brett. Betta. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Really appreciate all the support, everyone. But yeah, like once this category got super optimized by Pest and Axe, um, it, it's been like a lot less realistic for me to compete without doing a ton of practice. Because um, they're just so fast in like the subtle things, like just hitting everything at the right timing and getting the turnarounds at the perfect time and getting the jumps at the perfect time and everything. Um, that would take a lot of effort for me to optimize. Pest and Axe are super fast, dude. I think Axe's very first run of any percent was like a Top 10 time. <clears throat> Oops. And I was just like, all right, this guy's getting a world record. I give up. <laughs> Lucky for me, Axe got the world record, but he wasn't recording, so... Guess who got to keep the first place spot on the speedrun.com leaderboards? <laughs> You'll use that against me, Megan? <laughs> I'm scared. Thanks, gaming. I'm glad you like those videos. I'm glad they're so well received. I haven't done any recordings of those in a little while, but I do plan to return to it. Probably this weekend. Which will take a little while for me to actually edit the video afterwards, but... 
I am hoping to do something this Saturday. Maybe true ending. That will be a marathon and a half. Uh, thanks a lot, Stacy. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy. Your steams are so fun to watch. You're always so chill. What's your favorite area in the game? Uh, hey, Adrian. Um, my favorite area. Hmm. In the speed run, I actually really like Crystal Peaks and Fungal Wastes. Because those are both movement areas where you. It's just like all about movement. So I love those areas. Hmm. Otherwise, I do like Birthplace. Birthplace is really cool. That's why I made the map there. Do you think it is possible there's a faster route for any NMG but hasn't been discovered yet? Um. <laughs> yet. Yeah. Uh. Probably it's pretty unlikely. We did theorize about one route called the Isthmus Tier route. I actually think I might make a video about that eventually. Um, which was, it was like a really, really interesting route that is like pretty close to being as fast as this route, but just like fell a little bit short or so we theorized. <clears throat> because uh, you do have to get Monarch Wings for that route. It's so weird to think about. You actually go down to Broken Vessel and kill Broken Vessel, get Monarch Wings, and the route is still almost as fast because you get Isthmus Tear instead of Crystal Heart. Uh, so it was like late 2017 where we were theorizing about that route, but it's too difficult to do, so we never fully explored it. Like it's, it's not really humanly viable. Uh, that was a good fight until I had to walk across the arena to get to her. Uh, thanks a lot, Adrian and Elemental Phoenix, by the way. Make a vid about it? Yeah. I have a script already written up, so I just have to... Um, I want to change the script a little bit. But it's a work in progress. It is a very interesting route. And it was created by one of the greatest speedrunning minds of all time, in my opinion. Is this at any percent is the next big category? <laughs> If we ever switch to that, I think it would actually kill the category. Because people ooh shit. Would not want to run it. Well, I'm glad to know you all think it sounds good. Who? Um, Magalor 9000, aka Magalor 5000, aka Moglar 5k. Also known as the It's 2000 guy. That's some deep Hollow Knight speedrunning community lore. I'm, I'm glad I'm really consistent with these tricks, at least. Missing them just feels really demoralizing. <laughs> I 
Nice. That was good. Other than that hard fall before I entered Fungal Waste, that was a good split. Uh, apparently you can cause a stagger that knocks him out of bounds. Oh, that's really weird. I don't know if I've seen that before. What about it makes it so impossible? Um, it's like a fireball skip on steroids, basically. Like, you have to do so many frame-perfect inputs, or like, borderline frame-perfect, that it's like, pretty unrealistic to do. I think it's- I think the trick has only ever been done completely once. And it was three years later <laughs> after it was found, so... <laughs> it's not like people were trying to do it that whole time, but, you know, it still speaks to how difficult it is. Today, but can you make an Isma's path pitch sometime? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely, Slime Vessel. It's a, it's a good reminder that this was brought up because I think that would be a really interesting video for people. And thanks a lot for the, uh, your generosity again, Slime Vessel. Really appreciate it. Does it require doing a spike tunnel? Uh, yes. And it's a pretty hard version of the spike tunnel compared to all skills. But you guys did P5 hit lists, so nothing's impossible. True. Nothing is impossible, except for all the impossible any percent and whatnot challenges that we made up. But even those are possible. Oops. Oh, I'm too geo short. No. Uh, let's get some geo. Hello. <laughs> I, I remembered looking at my Geo at like Mantis Claw and I was like, hmm, is this right? Nope. <laughs> Better than falling in Distant Village. Not quite as much time loss. Who managed the Isthmus route? Um, in Insomnia was the one who pulled the trick off. Uh, this guy needs to go to the right. <laughs> oh, this guy respawned. What? Okay. Oh yeah, because I benched. Duh. Yeah, Insomnia's was like a little bit different because um, you bastard. <laughs> because Insomnia didn't use the slash against the wall. Which is kind of sad because the story that the slash against the wall made it work is really cool, I think. But it's actually possible without the slash. We just thought the slash was needed. So... I don't want to spoil the video too much, but the trick involves turning around and hitting a wall with your nail. Because whenever you hit an enemy or a wall with your nail, you get knocked back. And that knockback lasts for a certain amount of time. So if you knock yourself back like that, um, you can actually use it as kind of like a little boost. Except it's such a tiny amount of distance that you gain that, like, you have to do it absolutely perfectly. <laughs> There's a way to turn down spell damage. Hmm. Not with debug. I think you'd have to, like, mod the game. Because 
except I doubt spell damage is um is probably not in the player data file, so it would be a little bit tricky. That's a big time loss. <laughs> Nail only, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, you should link it, Fly Outfit. I'd be interested in uh, seeing that. Oh, in the background? Yeah, that's my computer. I have the fans set to pretty high because, um, I just want to keep temperatures low. And. Hollow Knight makes my computer chug, because I'm running it at a super high FPS. Um, I'm... <clears throat> oh, sorry. I should wait until the donation actually gets read before responding. So people know what I'm responding to. <laughs> I hope the, f the uh, fan isn't too loud. Might have to... Will you run the Isma's route or just explain it? Um, I'm just gonna explain it. Running it... Like... The thing about running it is... You have to spend so much time to get the trick. Like, if I spend like a hundred hours trying to get the trick in a run, and I finally get it, I'm not good enough at the game overall right now that I'd have, like, a run that I'm proud of, you know? Also, I, I don't even think it saves time, so... Um... That, that's the main reason why I wouldn't do it. <laughs> but, like, if you got the trick and the rest of your run was just, like, mediocre, it would be so disappointing. So... I definitely don't want that to happen. Uh, what am I doing? I just got confused and like fell on that guy. <laughs> well, now I have extra soul. Mm, maybe I should kill the uh, husks in the bottom of the spire. I think I should. The geo routing for this City of Tears area is, um. Kind of just make it up as you go, depending on what you need. So I'm not gonna. kill those guys. I'll just hit them for soul. I'm gonna heal here as well. My soul is very low, though. Oh no. <laughs> Every single time. Oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, we made it. <laughs> okay, we got full soul. <laughs> yeah, I really need to practice that dark room. I think I got it like one time properly. If that... That was okay. Okay with that, thank you. <laughs> I 
Okay. I didn't play that amazingly, but I got super good RNG. <laughs> so, thank you, Watcher Knights. You can just link it in my Discord flyout fate if you put it in the speedrunning channel, because um, it is like potentially speedrunning related. I will be most likely to see it there. I really like your voice. It's very nice. So is the way you speak. Oh, thank you, thank you, Cassandra. It's really nice of you. Thank you very much for the donation. Player taught me how to do any percent. Anyone have tips on who to watch for good help with true ending or 112? Um, true ending, I'd watch uh, Viz or Scurry. 112, uh, pfft, Axe, I guess, or Monsta. I, I don't know what the guides are like for either of those categories. One twelve is a category, though. Like learning it is tough because there's so much, and even if you watch like a top runner, you're not necessarily going to be getting all the strats. But that is the way. Like that's how I learned one twelve is I just watched runs of it. But on the right side, like the run is so long that. You don't have to have a, a perfect run to get a good time. You just need to generally have a good idea of what you're doing, which you can definitely learn just by watching like the world record a few times. I was almost too late to do that walkling storage. <laughs> I like just remembered at the last moment. Yeah, Monster is a crazy good speedrunner. I actually invited him to do speedrunner versus hunters, but I think he thinks the online mod is a bit too jank, which I totally understand. <laughs> I really didn't want to dash into him and take damage. I probably should have just dashed though. Okay, we're good on Geo. How long did it take you to do the five hour guide? Um, most of the five hour guide was just done in one day. I just like felt like working on it just to like uh, have something to do. <laughs> uh, the longer any percent guide was longer. I don't quite remember how long that one took me. But I definitely updated that any percent guide a lot over time. Like it started out pretty small. Are there any plans to improve the online mod? Uh, a modder in my Discord is working on their own online mod, which looks kind of promising. I'm hoping that the beta patch that Team Cherry does doesn't interfere with that in any way. And um, they're like a really good modder, so I have pretty high hopes for it. Cool. Even though they're just doing it in their free time. But like the current online mod, um, the person who made it uh, kind of just went MIA, so 
it's unlikely that that's going to see any significant updates. Mossbag and Speedrunner vs. Hunters. Mossbag's a really funny guy. One day I want to be as good as you so I can finally kill a primal aspid without getting hit. <laughs> also, I love your content. Thanks a lot, Carlos. You, you can do it. I believe in you. Just don't use the machine gun mod. Whatever you do. Um. Okay, we backed that up pretty well. The, uh, the timing on the first pickaxe throw was unfortunate. Oops. Oh, crap. Yeah, messing up the movement early on in this room kind of screws you over for the rest of the room. So I didn't really have a chance of getting God Pixel there. Rusty and Moss Bag. Yeah, that would be fun. Oh, I don't have enough soul. Oops. I really should have hit that guy. I was reading chat. <laughs> it's all good. We'll use the baby strats. There we go. Okay. Nice. Come PB to 1k health. <laughs> Did you die or like are you still going? Do you think you'll try hunters in a category besides any percent? Um we were thinking about doing true ending. It's just, it's kind of hard to figure out what the rules should be like because it's not like any percent where you like, you have this sacrifice between choosing either powering up or game progression. Uh, in true ending, you can kind of do both at once. And in true ending speedruns, you get all those abilities, like you got Shade Soul and everything. So... And then there's the difficulty of White Palace. <laughs> so, like... Doing White Palace with people, like, camping the hard spots would be... Uh, I don't know about that. But I do want to do it at some point. Oh, you're still going? Good luck, Bert. You got this. Need to hit it 1,000 more times. <laughs> Dear God. Oh yeah, Scurry's doing Dance Pad Hollow Knight. <laughs> That's gonna be awesome. I hope you all tune into that. Scurry is super cool. Okay. I'm actually at full health this time. That's nice. I like that. <laughs> I like being at full health. Uh, Umu is going to do an extra attack, I think. I don't like that. Hmm. No, I, oh, that's bad. Okay, his positioning's good. No, it's not. That positioning was horrible. <laughs> it was almost good, though. Uh, this is pretty bad. What? 
<laughs> He's doing another extra. Come on, Umu. This is this is not cool. Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna heal again. May as well just finish out the run. He's doing another extra. <laughs> what the fuck, Umu? <laughs> Holy crap, I've never seen this many extras. Oh, do not die, please. It's four cycle time. Let's go. Am I gonna get a dream meal? Come on, Umu. At least he didn't do an extra again. Ah, uh, I love Umu so much. You know, nowadays people do have, like, better responses to getting extra attacks so they know what to do, but, like, I don't quite have that technology, <clears throat> that technology quite yet. <clears throat> that was some pretty awful Umu RNG. <laughs> exactly. We're just getting it out of the way. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't die. <laughs> I was a little bit worried after the third cycle, I think. I got down to uh, one or two health. Back in my day, we just died to Umu. Yep. Back in my day being like one run ago. <laughs> <clears throat> um. Okay, so I think beating the time is not doable, but it still always feels nice to get a, a good late game. So let's try to go for that. I think late game is also kind of my strong point. Nice. That is very... very reassuring. not died to QGA. <laughs> uh, Nightbot is... Love your content. You've inspired me to do some Hollow Knight speed running. I am not great at it, but it looks so much fun. It is a lot of fun, Misty. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot for the uh, donation. Thanks for hanging out, too. Um... But yeah, like like I was saying, Nightbot is in super strict mode, like ridiculously strict. Um, but I should ease up on that because we're doing members only chat now, so not quite as worried about chat going absolutely bonkers like it was before. pretty good. As long as we don't... I don't even want to say it, because I'm going to overthink it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just going to play the part below Distant Village, or below Beast Sin, really safely. Oh, 
I'll check that in one second. Uh, thanks a lot, Followed, for becoming a cultist. Welcome to the God Gamer Academy, where we play this part super safe. <laughs> Thank you very much. <clears throat> uh, the restriction with Nightbot or members only? Uh, members only was... I started that like a minute before stream started. No fall pog. <laughs> yeah, stream chat was like... You couldn't even read anything. Like when, when we had um, chat on non-members only, like... You couldn't read it, and I was just, like, stressed out the whole time because my moderators were, like, ripping their hair out, so... Oh, God, what what the hell is happening? <laughs> it didn't jump. <laughs> where's my... where's my jump game? Oh, God, this is... oh, God. We're healing. I am so screwed right now. I'm choking extremely hard. Not even close. <laughs> okay. If we were in the race, I would have healed. So that that doesn't count. I mean, I mean, it does count, but you know. People, people are going to say it's because I didn't save the grub, but it's not true. <laughs> oh crap. The grub's revenge. <laughs> oh crap, What? why did I jump? I didn't know whether that spider was going up or down, I just kind of jumped. Okay. There we go, why couldn't I have just done that? Easy peasy. Um... Oh man, it's looking like we're getting another 36 this run. I saved the grub. Clip it. What, what the hell are you seeing, hunt? <laughs> it's spreading lies in my chat. I cannot believe this. I think I, I saw Axe do that movement. It's really nice, that lamp pogo. Oops, forgot to dash. So I think based off today's results, I'm pretty, 
pretty much definitely the underdog in tomorrow's race. So that'll be kind of fun to be the underdog. Hunt hustle, gaslighting once again. It's just never ending. Who else is racing? Um, there's going to be Axe Do You, who's the number two player, Hemothity, who's number four, and Rhino Feeder, who's uh, seven or eighth. Rhino almost got like fourth or fifth place, though, I think, uh, just yesterday. Which is super cool. I know he's worked really hard. this. Oops. Let's heal up so we can get the scream skip. What is going on? What is he going to scream right now? All right. Almost sub 36, baby. <laughs> yeah, Ethan, I definitely will be. <laughs> All the other players are super good. In this economy. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, the race tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun. And, um... Just a reminder for those of you who haven't heard, we're doing the Hollow Knight 4th Anniversary event tomorrow, starting at 9 a.m. Central or 10 a.m. Eastern. So it's going to be tomorrow morning, and uh, I'm going to be starting off with a race against a lot of the top Hollow Knight players. Um, hopefully we do better than a 36 during that race, but it's going to be fun either way. Uh, and if you are interested in watching, if you open up the description, there's a link to the channel. Uh, it's going to be on Twitch, so you can just follow there if you want to watch. I'll also be posting a notification in my Discord when we start the event, even though I've been forgetting to do that, and I think I forgot it, forgot to do it for this stream as well. <laughs> Silly percent is godly. <laughs> Thanks everyone for the GGs again. And uh, Kahootaholic. Fireborn, if you don't save grubs, then do you save mimics? Especially to flex on that one grub that's surrounded by mimics. <laughs> yeah, I save mimics. I mean, they're not grubs, so it's cool, right? I misheard Hollow Knight as Fortnite. Hunt, you seem to be mishearing a lot of things today. Racing against top Fortnite players. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're totally racing against top Fortnite players tomorrow. Fireborn, if you don't save grubs, then do you save mimics? Especially to flex on that one <laughs> grub that's surrounded by mimics. Thanks, Alien. Uh, thanks for the donation, by the way, Kahoot. <laughs> Rip the grub that was never saved. <laughs> Rip the grub that was never saved. Uh, thank you so much, Fruity. I really appreciate that. 
You are extremely generous. Since I am gonna miss next stream, lol. Oh, that's too bad. Thank you so much, though. I hope you're doing well over there. I know how much Axe to you loves the Epic Games Store. <laughs> that's the best meme. I mean, he's kind of right, but, you know, at the same time. Gotta meme on him a little bit. Thank you very much, Fruity. And Kahootaholic, thank you too. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the stream, and I hope uh, those of you who can make it out tomorrow to the stream, to the uh, fourth anniversary event, join us, because it'll be a lot of fun, I think. Um, Hollow Knight with a dance pad. Who wants to watch that? <laughs> I didn't know Scurry was doing it now. Holy shit, I'm going to watch too. <laughs> thanks so much, Ra. Um, And thanks again, everyone. It really means so much that so many people are hanging out. Go watch Scurry, who's doing Hollow Knight with a dance pad. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it's happening. This is so funny. <laughs> watch this hope you all have a wonderful day thank you all so much